Oui. Cold out here. It's so cold that my olive oil is frozen. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's add some olive oil in here. This morning. Uh, we got a lot of ingredients we're putting in this dish, so. This is my Dutch oven. Really good for outdoor cooking. You can put this over an open flame too. They have some bigger ones. That is olive oil. And this is ghee butter. Something about butter. And meat. Brings out the flavor, especially when you're outdoor cooking. The ghee butter is like the bomb. Alrighty. So we're going to add some uh, fresh garlic real quick. Fresh onions, tomatoes, and mushrooms. I want these onions to get kind of caramelized. We're on a high flame. And this is going to be kind of like a fajita style breakfast taco that we're having. The reason why I call it breakfast is because we're having it in the morning. Fajita because of the tomato and onion. I like adding mushrooms. This is carne asada. Now I salted this with sea salt. Let it sit here for about an hour while it was waiting to be cooked. And that just uh, infuses that beef with a little bit of flavor. Oh, I chopped it up because we're going to have tacos. So he just style tacos. This is corn mash out of meat. I chopped it up real good. Some of it's still a little chunky. This be good for a guest. They want to eat a little bit more than a, a mouthful. Now I don't I don't want to cover this because if I do it's gonna trap the water in. I want the moisture to come out because it's a taco. I don't want a wet taco, I want a seasoned, um, flavorful taco. That's why I added olive oil and butter. The meat pieces are gonna come out on its own. A little chunk of meat right there. Alright, so let me talk to you about the seasoning that I have here. So this is taco seasoning right there, taco. Taco, chipotle, chili powder, buttery steakhouse, smoked paprika, right there in that red right there, and sea salt. So we're just gonna see we can get that in there. A little spray for that. Scrape that in there. It's all going in the same pot. I just wanted to show you the different uh, ingredients that I'm adding into this dish. Now these little bowls come in handy, little, little serving bowls. Uh, I love them because they're probably a really good size for a nice pasta dish. Um, you could probably eat or share a, a bowl of soup with someone that you care about, you know, out of the same bowl. It's that big. And uh, these scrapers are made. See, they're large. This is a large product. These scrapers are made for this. Dutch oven. Or actually their products, not specific to the Dutch oven, but if you have something you want to scrape. They're plastic, so I wouldn't recommend using them when the, when the pan's really, really hot. Um, this is just to get the seasoning out. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Uh oh, one's trying to escape. Uh, I already fed Venus. She's having raw carne asada. I gave her a banana, a couple of eggs. And usually she likes to eat what I eat, but there's a lot of seasonings in here. I added, like I said, garlic and onions, some sliced tomato. I mean, if you want to add more seasonings, you can. I get some of my seasonings from Costco. This is Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. It's absolutely delicious. I already added some in there, but I really like the flavor, so. Because when I'm about to add uh, my other seasoning, look 
not say where that one's coming from. A lot of it, it just has to do with the meat. It's releasing a lot of its moisture. You know, like I said, I added salt before I put it in the pan. And what's cool about this dish is you can pack it up in a little glass container, save some for later. You don't have to eat it all at once. And it even, it'll even taste better because it'll sit in its own juices overnight or for a few days, however long. All right? All right, so... Now I'm gonna add some cilantro. This meat's almost kind of, you know, this is beef, so it doesn't require a whole lot of cooking, but depends on how you like your meat. I don't like my cook well, I like it better medium. Well, those are eggs, right? <laughs> medium well. So here's cilantro, um, some shishito sh sh peppers, jalapenos. I'll just chop some of that up in there. And it's all going to flow really well with the dish you know Mexican food and Italian food Filipino food and I mean pretty much any kind of food I love eating I love cooking it this is gonna fit in a taco like really fit in a taco <laughs> hopefully it'll fit in a taco <laughs> my eyes are burning <laughs> Now, just to give it a little bit more authentic flavor here. I'm going to add some, uh, look at that. See how much there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw that in my taco right there. Salsa. Right? Salsa. Right? Salsa. Right? Salsa. I'll put a couple of tablespoons, that's not going to hurt. I don't like measuring, you know, I'm not really strict about that. I'm all about the smell. Now, as I'm cooking, I'm, I'm smelling the aroma. I mean, all these flavors, the onions, the peppers, tomatoes, all the different peppers I have in here. Look at that, these even got a little bit of sauce. So you can actually just hold on to the meat like that and throw that in your taco. Now this probably, the prep time is probably about 15 minutes. The cook time is nothing less than 10 minutes. As you can see, this video has been going on for about 8 minutes. Right? Let me taste this sauce here. Oh my goodness. Let me turn it off. Move this coffee pot. There's my tortillas. I cooked those earlier. I cooked those in olive oil. I make a fresh pot of hot coffee every morning when I'm out camping. I was taught by a really good teacher how to use that uh, coffee pot too, by the way. I won't mention any names, but <laughs> pretty awesome. There's only a few people I know that know how to make coffee in that, in that coffee pot. Alrighty. I'll let that settle a bit. And... Got a little bit of wine juice. That's going to give it a little bit of acid. Again, that's going to help release some of this flavors back into the pot. Something about vinegar and lime and lemon. Those acidic type foods really bring out the flavor of the meat. So we're going to do that. I wish I could tell you to just drop that in there, but no. <laughs> Because then you got to fish it out, right? You don't want to fish that out. You want to eat. Alrighty. There we go. 
I'm just cutting up something while that's simmering slowly here. Woo! What a beautiful day. It's so cold. So eating something like this is going to warm up my belly. Uh, hopefully, when you make it, it'll warm up your belly. Uh, I wouldn't hold back on what you want to eat out here just because you're out here. Some people say, oh, I can't do that because I have to have a full kitchen. Well, honey, you have to bring your kitchen with you. That's how it works. I had to build mine out here. I mean, it has to be, you have to be creative, but you can't be scared. Because uh, when you're scared of carrying stuff and you're too lazy to do something, you're actually... Uh, Cutting yourself off from a really good experience. And um, I'm solo this time on this trip, so I didn't have to bring a whole kitchen. You know? Alrighty. Let's get to the good foot. Want to just try one? Let's just try one. I got a nice bowl here. There it is. Fill her up, right? Okay, look. It's not going to fall apart, so I'm going to take this meat right here. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't think I'm sharing. <laughs> I'm going to onion. There we go. Just put that in your pocket there. My mom, my grandmother would say, put that in your pipe and smoke it. She's funny. I miss her a lot. I love her deeply. All right, so we have enough veggies in there, right? Mmm, so good. Mmm, I can taste the avocado. Put little chunks of avocado. A little squirt of sour cream just across the top. Nothing exaggerated, gracias. Nothing uh, too heavy, right? You can even add a little bit of juice in there if you want. A little bit of juice. Some people like raw onion. Remember, cilantro is already in here. And sriracha. Look at that. Look at that. Breakfast taco. No, there's no eggs in there, but there's protein, meat, calcium, vegetables, corn. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm mmm mmm. Look at that. Whoop. Oh. Look at that. Mmm. A little messy. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to survive. I'm outdoors here now. Y'all come back. 